welcome to my happy place. Thought I'd give you a little tour of my home away from home in my stitching cave, I call it. When you first walk in, these are some of my treasures, some things I've collected over the years, my wall of thread. My prairie school or Santa's I leave out all year. Other collections. This desk was from my mom. I treasure it. I love all the little drawers and the little cubbies. Hopefully this is not going to be like a roller coaster ride for you. Got some of my Christmas stuff out. A lot of it will go upstairs. More, more treasures. My beloved clock from my grandfather. This is the glass fronted bookcase that I have with many stitching treasures in here. collection some of my collection of tomatoes thread cabinets this is not a reproduction it is a reproduction it's not an antique those are antique drawers there with more tomatoes my mom did this cruel work here I love it love 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 it Sorry about the light. She did also this one. More awesomeness up here with all things I've made, been gifted with, just all kinds of things that mean so much to me. Some people would think of it as junk, but it's my happy things. Some prairie schoolers I did several years ago. These are stitched over one on 25 count. You can tell how long I did it because of the fact that they're uh, matted. My queen hoops. Other Liberty Hill boxes. I love those. Just love them. It's a cubby of all different little pillows and whatnots. Little things. Here's where I keep all my charts on this huge wall I have in the room that my husband made years ago for my daughter. And when I moved into the room, I converted it to work with my stash. Let me pan back here if I can. My fabric, TV. More Mill Hill, or not Mill Hill, Liberty Hill boxes. More stash. I have it all organized by designer. Room. Here's this closet. We'll keep extra stuff, storage, Christmas stuff. Sorry about the glare from the lights. More tomatoes. A dresser from my grandparents. Old stitching 
see if I can get a better shot. These are some drawn thread pieces. next to my stitching chair. There's my magnifier that I use down here. And a little table next to my chair as well with gifted items. Little quilt made by my friend Teresa. My odd lights. patriotic display I leave out year round. My chair. Let's see if I can go backwards. My Scotty dog quilt made my by my good friend Bonnie years ago. basket of stuff sitting right next to my chair. More about that later. And then this is a cabinet full of my wool. I love doing wool applique. I haven't done it in a long time, but oh, just more goodies, more tomatoes. That little raspberry homecoming, a picture hanging on the wall there with the quilts. Stitched that years and years ago on Ada. It's a sweet story behind that. I love it. Another quilt made by my friend Bonnie. Some punch needle. Some wool. Project bags, can never have too much cart full of things that I want to do right now. I think that's a little over over the top. Do you not agree? I need more time. Don't we all? I just got this. This is a Martha Washington sewing cabinet. Love it. Love, love, love it. And we're coming back around to the doorway. This is a shelf. I don't know how I can get a picture of that, but it holds my Christmas um, things I want to stitch for Christmas. And just little boxes of stuff. On top, that shaker box is full of needle books. A lot have been gifted to me, some I've made. collection of needle minders. My husband made that so that I could hang that up there. Anyhow, here we are back. This is the doorway. And we're back to the beginning. 